Right, in this video we're going to be looking at the concept of gradient. Now gradient's the posh mathy word for slope or steepness of a line. So what I've done is I've drawn these two triangles here with some steps next to them if they help, just to see if um, which one would be easier to climb. So which one would be easier to climb? Would it be A to B or would it be C to D? Now you're probably going to tell me that C to D would be easier to climb because it's less steep than A to B. Now we do need to put a numeric value, because we're mathematicians, onto this uh, concept of gradient, or this slope, or steepness, whatever you want to call it. So, what we do is we measure the rise, that's how far you've gone up, and divide that by what we call the run. Okay, so the rise is up, the run is along, and it would be the same here. And Whatever numeric value you get will be the gradient of that line, how steep that line is, okay? Now, taking it over to here and to some graphs, all right, we've drawn four graphs on this grid, and I've already drawn one of these triangles on each line. Now, the blue line here, I've drawn a triangle here, shaded it in. Now, in order to work out the rise over the run, I just need to count some squares. So, how many squares have I gone up? Well, the rise of that is two over the run, which is one in this case. So the rise over the run is two over one. So the gradient of that blue line is two. So, coming down, we're gonna have a look at the yellow line and the rise over the run. So if I look at this triangle again, the rise is one, and the run is one, two, three. Now that can't be simplified, so the gradient, so one over three, if you want to do it as a decimal, I wouldn't do it as a decimal, I'd leave it as a fraction actually. Um, it would be a third. The gradient of that is a third. Now we're gonna have a look at this orange line or the green, actually we will look at the orange line next. Okay, and the orange line is a little bit different. So the rise actually isn't a rise, it's a drop, isn't it? But we still call it the rise, it's just a negative rise. And if I count one, two, so it goes down two. So negative two divided by one, two. And notice I'm always going to the right here. So negative two divided by two, the gradient of that orange line is negative one because negative two divided by two is negative one. And finally, we've got the green line. And once again, the rise is going down this time. It's a drop, so how far have I gone down? I've gone down one. So negative one is the rise, and I've gone along two. So there you go. And actually, I'm gonna rewrite that like that. It doesn't really matter but the gradient of that would be minus a half. So you're looking at the rise over the run each time, so how far up a line's gone between two points and divide that by how far it's gone along in the same period of time. So here we go, goes from there to there, the rise is two, the run is one. From here to here, the rise is one, the run is three. And don't forget when the lines are going down this way here, you're falling, so it's negative would be the rise. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.